Welcome everybody, this is Don Juancho, one half of the casting duo Donbot. And today we're having a little tutorial session. This is my patented ZVZ opening uh, called the Ice Wancho. Uh, this is part two. I stole this building, or this opening, from Spanishiwa. He called it the Ice Fisher, so I thought I'd have a little fun, call it the Ice Wancho. And this time I'm going to show it to you from my perspective. I'm just going to walk it, walk you through it, and it's going to have a little bit different one, uh, different type of opening than the last game, or the my opponent reacts differently. So I hope that some of you out there have been trying this build. It it's definitely different. Most a lot of people don't know how to respond to it, and uh, that's I, I I get a lot of wins out of this. So if you're struggling and you don't like that stupid Ling Bling micro, I can't. I'll just lose like 20 lings to one bane ling because I'm that bad at micro. I mean, seriously, like you look at my APM. Uh, let's see, APM, and it is. Look, yeah, look at that. I'm green <laughs> right now. I have 30 APM. Uh, let me just pause real quick, though. I missed something important. Uh, send my overlord. I like to send it to this one first. That's just me. And next thing is, I sent my drone when I was. Um, when my other drone was about halfway done, my number 10 drone was about halfway done, and that allows me to get to his his base and see if, basically see what he's doing. Is he going to try to rush me? Is he going to 6 pool me or 10 pool? Do I need to put down that spawning pool right away? So anything like 12 or 13, I'll put, it, I'll put down a spawning pool before I go hatchery first. Maybe I'll, I'll show another video on that, but I'll just tell you that he's not going to do that this time. So, uh, I, I spot the creep. I spot the creep. I know where he is. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit lucky. And, uh, so, 15 hatchery is the build, is t what you start out after you scout. I'm feeling, you know, it's going to be cross position. He could six pull me. He, I'd probably lose, but uh, I'm, you know, it's, this is ladder. I'm willing to take that risk. So 15 hatchery, 15 spawning pool. What makes this build different is that it is there's no gas in the very beginning. So I go and I scout and I see, oh man, spawning pool is almost done. You know what, this seems about a normal time. I see that there's not many, well, there's a good amount of drones here. I'm going to go back. I like to just kind of harass a little bit. If you have the APM, I suggest you do it. If you don't, just have them go back to your base. So I noticed that he was saving two larvae right there. I kind of think it was for for uh, zerglings. So uh, I'm not really worried about it. I know it's gonna. Ha I I know if he tries to come at me with zerglings, I'm totally fine. My spawning pool is almost all the way up. It's gonna take so long for him to, g to have zerglings, slow zerglings, go all the way around the map, all the way there and then get there by the time that I get them. So yep, here they are. I spot the four zerglings. Hopefully I see it in the mini-map. That's very key part of this is spotting that on the mini-map. So my response is, I think I overproduce right here. I make six, but I do see him bringing some more. And then I have this spine crawler go down right away. Next thing, I want to get my two queens ASAP. That's the very first thing after spawning pool. Uh, I, I should mention some of my timings. I do drones up until 18, then uh, overlord on 18, and after that I keep getting drones and I scout. If he's putting on pressure, I'll get up a couple of lings. I'm not going to get up too many lings because he might be going bane ling, and I don't like to get speed. And slow lings versus fast lings are just not very good. So right here he goes for my drone. Nope, oh, but he pulls back. Look at that. They just come out in perfect timing because these spine crawlers that are building go down so quickly. They just go down so fast uh, to when they're building. They they don't have that plus two armor or whatever it is. So I got a couple of I got a couple of lings, and I noticed that he's kind of sneaking some guys back here. Other big big thing that I notice is that he doesn't have an expansion and that is why I threw down this second spine crawler so I know that he is going to be putting pressure on me if he doesn't have an expansion you have to have an expansion to Zerg or it's a lot of pressure so next timings uh, 28 is big I go up to 28 and then I get two overlords and that usually works out that I can get out 
these two queens first and then I can get two other queens right after that so I'm gonna be having a lot of minerals right now and right now I I'm feeling really good if he doesn't have an expansion it's tough to lose right here I that's that's my feeling I know he's probably gonna come out with banelings and try to do some silly stuff but as long as I get uh, as long as I get these spine crawlers up I'm good and big other big thing yep so I th throw down a third one I, I know he's he hasn't taken his, his expansion yet it's already five minutes that's the only thing that he could be doing you know uh, other small things make sure that you're have the right saturation here and what else oh uh, where did my queen go my queen should be up right here and then as soon as this one pops I want it right here the last thing I want to have is a bunch of zerglings run right past my ramp if he does that it's probably GG so very key and honestly this is what took me such a long time to learn with this build I think it's important for any build and yep so I was just saying throw down that third one I think at this time yeah I, I got yeah I, I lost some zerglings I really don't care kind of mismanaged that one right there and hopefully I get a transfuse off on that but actually I think I kind of wasted my um, mana on the injex which you actually probably shouldn't do right now I was a little bit slow to get my second pair of queens I really should have done that and man I was almost out of position right here so he is actually kinda has an advantage on me right now he well I just had these spine crawlers finish that's why I pull the drones and a little bit bad of a mistake here oh actually don't even lose them so right here <laughs> to be honest I I think I I was a little bit late on my spine crawlers and late definitely late on these two queens if I would have gotten these up a little bit earlier maybe had this one down here so it could do a little more attacking I'd be a lot better off and I'm actually a little bit surprised I won this game I think it's because he actually didn't have that much he only brought five lings in there and he only has two more lings most of his stuff is still back at home if they get a whole bunch of zerglings in here you're done but there's enough where I'm still okay and the thing is with the one baneling it can't actually kill your drones I, I don't think so I think it does like a really like 39 damage or something like that 35 whatever it does yeah 35 so it's very close and right now I I might not see it but I know what's going on you don't pull back your lings and have them in the corner and just have them sit there like obviously they're going to be turning into banelings and right here wow again this guy runs in all my defenses are on the lower ground I'm not looking good right here he picks off a queen I'm just basically just struggling to stay alive normally I don't put that in normally it's kind of like game once that happens maybe I just got really luck with my micro lucky with my micro right here because uh, these banelings could have taken out all of these drones somewhat easily but I was able to kill pretty much all of his stuff. He only has three banelings here right now. And uh, I'm not going to, don't want to give it away, but yeah, I am starting to stabilize right now. So I transfer them all over where I have my defenses. And you know what? I'm getting close to being okay here. Um, I, don't, I don't care. I'll let that baneling kill me. And as long as I have his guys out, or his units out of my base, uh, my main base I'm happy so even though this might look really sloppy I'm still ahead I mean look look at the drone count I'm up six drones but I have the production facilities I have two queens versus one queen and I have this expansion where it's not going anywhere I have three spine crawlers and he doesn't have an expansion and you could say well what happens if he got an expansion he'd be ahead of you well he wouldn't have had all that pressure to put on earlier so right now I, I've kind of weathered the storm I know it's coming he still doesn't have an expansion obviously this is just a complete all-in I get lucky with some of this stupid stuff right here and at this point I should be making more Queens I think that I should but I don't know I guess yeah you know, that'd be my fourth Queen or my fifth that'd be my fourth Queen I think that since he's so all-in one thing I could have done better is keep making more Queens and then eventually maybe put some I actually I think I do um, 
put yep, Evo Chambers right here, and that makes his units, they can't just attack right in here. They have to go all the way around, and I might even put a queen right here to even block that more so. So look at this. I have I have my spine crawlers spread up out enough that he has to use all of his banelings on those two spine crawlers. Wow, he even took out more drones. Like that is that's I mean that's not bad. Uh, I mean it's bad for me, but it's not terrible. Still have my two spine crawlers. Right now he's just, he's just uh, he doesn't have the economy. He's gonna keep trying to attack me. And a key thing that you didn't quite see me do but which I should have done is pulled my drones like right here I will just run my drones and I'll just mineral walk all the way over here if he tries to come attack with the banelings and so now my, my micro is getting a little bit better I'm starting to get more transfuses I think that was one of my problems earlier I didn't hit good enough transfuses but with this build uh, you, you do have to be somewhat good at it and so normally the normal build is that you want to get to 40 supply, you have 4 queens, and you have, was it, 18, 16 drones on each on each mineral patch, so you're fully saturated, then you take all 4 gases. And then after that, you want to get Evo Chamber and um, Roach Warren, and then you get your lair. And then from there you can get Speed Roaches and just kind of play it from there. In this, I basically knew that he's going all in and he's been going all in for the entire game for the last 10 minutes um, a little bit sloppy not having r queens down here and so I make that change I think one queen in here because they can't sneak in I want to have them take the longest route possible to get to me and as soon as I see this oh you have to be so quick look at that you just pull the drones right away uh, I guess I'm kind of bragging about my micro, not that it's that amazing. Like, you can probably look at the APM and it's still ridiculously low. So, just let them bait that. They can take it out, whatever. I don't think it's very cost efficient for them, because I'm using 150 minerals, 50 for the drone, and 100 for the spine crawler. But they, they just wasted like 4 banelings, so I don't know. You do the math. I'm not using my gas. And he's still on one base, so I don't care. He can just keep taking that out. Right now I'm spined up, I got my queens, and I'm going to be chilling, making some roaches in a little bit here. Uh, I transferred my drones back, and uh, pretty much saturated here. Normally I would get my uh, gas right now, but he's putting on so much pressure that I feel like as soon as I get the roaches up, they're just so strong against lings and banelings, and a one base player that I'm going to be doing okay. So I should cancel this, yep, just, I mean, just saving minerals, and I think that he's kind of making the wrong decision here. I think that he should have been going more so for the drones. That's kind of where he's going to equal it out. Like, you saw a couple of times where he took out all my drones with a couple of good baneling attacks. If he expanded right at that time, or before that, uh, and didn't have that follow-up attack, we would have been even and I don't think he would have it's not like a good strategy it's like him trying to come back to win but that's how you come back to win so I hope you guys enjoyed this if you have any questions feel free to post it I am Don Juancho signing out